Hello guys and welcome back for this new tutorial on Hollywood Illusion. Today we are going to talk about ground destruction and how to make this cool landing effect as seen in many superheroes movies. The first time I saw this kind of visual effects was in the movie Hancock and it really blew my mind. Nowadays this effect is mainly used on movies like Superman, Man of Steel, Avengers and many others. So we are going to create this shot based on Man of Steel, in which Superman makes a huge impact on the ground when he lands. The tutorial will be in two parts. In this video we are going to work into 3D Studio Max and I'm going to show you a very easy and fast way to create all these exploding particles. In the second part of the tutorial we are going to composite everything into After Effects and add jumping particles using Trapcode Particular to make it more realistic. As always, I've uploaded all the files on HollywoodIllusion.com, so if you want to save time, you can download the full 3D animated scene ready to use, as well as the After Effects project file directly from the website. Ok, let's jump right into it. Here is my 3D scene with Superman landing on the ground. To create the impact, I used Tyflow, which is a free plugin for 3D Studio Max to create particle simulations. The first step is to create a Tyflow object which can be found here under the standard primitives. Then I will open the editor, add a birth object and select the object in which we want the simulation to take place. I want to destroy the ground, so let's add the ground object. Then I will add Voronoi Fracture Operator, which is going to divide the ground into multiple pieces. Here you can set the amount of pieces you want, and how much variation you want. Now we want all the pieces to behave like physical particles, so they can react to gravity, collide with other objects in the scene, etc. So let's add physics shape operator, and to make it collide with our superman, I will add a physics collision operator. Here you can select the collider you want. You may think that we need to select our superman, no. The reason why is that it can take a lot longer to simulate if you add a high polygon object as a collider. So I've created a simple sphere here, which is attached to the feet of superman. And this is the collider we are going to use. You can now see the current simulation, but we can go further to increase the realism of the shot. First, we can fragment again the pieces as they fly away from the impact. To do that, I will create another event with a Voronoi Fracture Operator. To indicate that we want the particles to fragment into smaller pieces as they fly away, I will add a Property Test Operator. Select Acceleration Magnitude and choose an accurate value. So this means that if the particle's acceleration magnitude is higher than 2, Tyflow will break them into smaller pieces. And to connect this property to the new event, simply drag and drop. Finally, we can add an Edge Fracture operator which will slice the particles along the edges creating even smaller debris. And that's how you make a simple ground impact simulation in 3D Studio Max. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to composite this scene using After Effects and make it look great. Hope you liked this tutorial guys, if you did, you can like and subscribe to support the channel, and I see you soon for another exciting project.